Hello guys, this is Model Aircraft um, uh, with the 2019 uh, Passat TSI. So right now, my overall experience for the tune-ups that I have done so far, it's been pretty good, you know. I get a lot more um, turbo wash. Um, the car, actually, when I hit the gas really hard instead of the wheel spinning that power is saved into the, like the quarter range and i like it that way because that means my zero to 60 time i'm getting that quicker than the wheel like over spinning in the beginning while i hit the gas and then i lose you know you know forward acceleration even though the tire is spinning quicker so I like that too, you know, it settled the, 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 like from a standstill at the red light when you fill the gas, it kind of tamed it down a little bit, but it opens it up like after I pass probably 15 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour, it just, all the power just, just like let loose on like, just like that. So I like it that way, you know. I don't like it to be too talky, you know, on uh, takeoffs. Um, so, if you have a Volkswagen um, from, I would say, maybe 2016 to 2020, like the latest Passat, it's all basically the same engine. So, if you wonder, oh, mine is 2016, oh, mine is 2021, maybe I can't do no. It's all the same engine. As long as it's Gen 3, EA888, or whatever they call it, um, it's all the same engine. Uh, the must that you have to do in your car, if you want some performance, you got to do the cold air intake. Now, not just the, the intake filter, but you want to do the intake and the intake pipe that goes onto the turbocharger. So you do that one, and then you want to do the, the turbo um, outlet pipe. That one is a must, too, because it really takes away the factory uh, sandwich out outlet pipe. Um, and also, you want to make sure you get a muffler delete. Now, with the Passat, um, I think from maybe 20... 2016, 2015 to 2016 Passat, you can get the regular type uh, uh, muffler delete. Um, but if you do your research, you see it. But from like 2017 and up, it's kind of a little uh, eerie because this the muffler delete that CTS Turbo make for this car, um, it fits the turbocharger. It fits that the the problem is that uh it doesn't fit the uh the outlet hose like the billet outlet hose that you put in it doesn't fit so on a high boost pressure and you flow the gas you know all that all that pressure uh pops the outlet hose out and if that happened you probably get an epc reading or check engine light so what i did was when i took my uh, that happened to me so i I took the the muffler delete uh, back out. I bought a JB Weld aluminum, uh, aluminum metal glue, and also I I I I mixed up an epoxy. So I put a little bit of the aluminum metal glue, and then I rubbed the epoxy on it. It's like fiberglass epoxy. And after I did that, I put the the uh, the the turbo outlet uh, uh, hose, the hose with the billet. I pushed it on the uh, um, clamped it down. I didn't clamp it, but I pushed it on the uh, pressed it on the CTS uh, turbo muffler delete. Okay. Now don't get confused when you screw in the CTS turbo muffler delete on your turbocharger. Don't go glue that muffler delete on your turbocharger or anything like that. That one, you screw it on there. 
So right now I have tested it many times. I put it on sports mode. I used my uh, my uh, if you can see my working uh, paddle shift out here. I put it on uh, also. I put it on manual, and it's working uh, really good. And I haven't have any more flaws. So I say that one is a permanent fix. Um, the next thing that you probably want to do is to do the charge pipe the throttle body charge pipe that'll be next that's what i'll be doing the throttle uh, body charge pipe and also i'm gonna get a, a vacuum operated um atmospheric uh pov uh blow -off valve for more whoosh so those are the two things i'm gonna do and also i'm gonna uh also do the dump pipe the uh, i think it's a wagner dump pipe it's on the old tunings but those are the three things i'm gonna uh do now and also um i will get the gb4 uh tuna thing so i'll probably be at um I'll probably be at like around 300 because with the JB4 2D, because of all the stuff I'm gonna do when I put it on, even though it's set for the for this car, you get 30 wheel horsepower. Because of all the performance part that I've did and the more airflow and stuff, I'll probably gain like 60 horsepower from the JB4. But the thing is, you don't wanna, um, you see my transmission is a sports transmission. It's not as strong as DSG but it's not a, a weak transmission. It's not a 092 transmission. I got the sports transmission, so um, I will I will have to get it dyno tested because I don't want to go over 300 because that's kind of, uh, if I do anything over 300, I'll need to probably tune my transmission up and I don't want to have to do all that, so. That's my goal is to get up to 300 in this Passat. This model aircraft signing out.